All right, guys, so today it's going to be my everyday makeup routine. It's weird, I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed my makeup on camera so close together in a while because I just did a get ready with me video, but I'm kind of enjoying it. So let me know if you want to see more content like this and subscribe if you haven't already. We're also going to be doing a giveaway in today's video, so stay tuned and let's get into the makeup look. First things first, I still am not really using a primer, guys. Pretty sure I've mentioned that in the past. I do love a good oil or serum-like product under my makeup, though. Something about it just looks immaculate every time. So I have this Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum, and I love using this as a skincare product as well, but it's so beautiful under makeup, so I make sure it's really shaken up because it separates a lot, and it's a very thin, runny product, so I pump it into the middle of my hand. I do two pumps and then rub it all over and just go straight in. It really is an instant glow. I wanna drink the majority of my coffee when it's at the perfect temperature because once it starts getting cool, it just doesn't taste as good. If you know, you know. And when it's really, really hot, I can't handle it. I have a very sensitive mouth, so. This, I won't lie, is new, but I needed a new tinted moisturizer or lightweight foundation type product that would fit my skin tone because I'm a lot tanner right now than I usually am. I've got a little bit more sun this summer and I always need a darker shade in the summer. So this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I have it in the shade Medium 9 Warm and it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good tone for my skin. Maybe a pump and a half. You get quite a bit there in one pump. I just told you guys in a recent get ready with me, I'm obsessed with these AOA makeup sponges. You can find them on Amazon and it's such a good deal. I heard Jessica Braun talking about these and I, I haven't looked back since. Definitely a pretty lightweight product. I don't really prefer a medium to full coverage, heavy foundation on my everyday makeup days. I just want to spot conceal. So I'm gonna use my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custard. Still obsessed with this stuff and I've realized lately I also prefer this for my under eyes too because I just feel like it creases the least out of like all of my concealers. I still love my Ilia One. I do use that occasionally, especially when I'm in a hurry and I want a liquid concealer. But honestly, I just have not found a concealer that is as creaseless as this one um and it also just spot conceals so so well the coverage is amazing but it still looks very soft and natural and just beautiful product so honestly you guys i was not planning to film today this week i've had a really hard time just sitting down in front of the camera and getting a video done and i said you know what today even though it's literally the first day of my period i had horrible cramps earlier and my house is a disaster right now, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit down and I'm gonna film because it needs to be done. I have not been proud of myself lately for my lack of consistency and yeah, it's just hasn't been ideal. I just wanna get more content out there. I miss filming and having like two videos up every week. I've always had a little bit of a problem with inconsistency, but lately it's been extra bad and my channel has definitely been reaping the negative effects of that because I have definitely been seeing a decline in my analytics, but I feel like I talk about this in every chatty video that I do, so I'm not gonna ramble on about it, but I just basically wanted to say that I want to get more content out and be more consistent. And I just kind of take that on my eyelids, which literally as I'm doing this, I'm remembering that I forgot to put my lash serum on. I always do that at the start of my makeup, like before I put my makeup on, because I prefer doing that to applying it at night. And I just feel like by the time I go in with concealer, it's usually set. So that's not going to work out today, but I will show you guys. I've talked about this multiple times on my channel at this point. The Babe Lash Essential Lash Serum. So, so, so good. My lashes have grown so much since I started using that. I'm never looking back. And then for powder, I have still been obsessed with my Kosas Cloud Set. I can't stop using this. I'm gonna repurchase it when I run out. It just sets my makeup like nothing else and I feel like it helps with creasing better than anything else too. And it looks so natural and lightweight, which is just the wildest combination. Like it stays looking like skin. I forgot about my coffee again. I'm gonna grab this little e.l.f. powder puff. All right, and then to bronze, I've still been loving my Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. As I've said before, this is a very pigmented product. I literally just 
tap my brush in there a couple of times. Um, and just to chat a little bit, you guys, I will say I did post on my community page the other day that I deleted my TikTok account. I barely had any followers and I wasn't really doing anything specific. It was just random. And so I deleted it and I made a new account where I am doing a little bit more hair content like what I do here on YouTube and just beauty content in general. And I am enjoying it so far i haven't posted a ton because i just made it the other day but it is linked in my description box if you guys want to check it out i always have all my social media linked down there my instagram and i also have my lemonade down there which i have been slacking on posting over there the first couple weeks i was really excited about it and i was just posting a lot but i feel like it's been kind of dying a little bit over there but i want to get back into it because i still love that platform and I think it's such a cool place and I wish that more people would join like people that I know so if you do have lemonade definitely follow me over there I did start that account as more of a lifestyle account with some beauty as well but I've been posting like some book stuff which I feel like I don't share as much in other places just honestly feel like everyone's taste is so different and it can be kind of controversial talking about books but Currently, I am reading Say You Swear, and it's really good. I love a good romance novel. I have been taking quite a while to get through this one, and I'm not really sure why. I just feel like I've been doing a lot of other things, and I've been kind of distracted. It's not because it's not a good book. I actually really have been enjoying it when I do actually sit down to read it. That one, for some reason, I can't handle the covers that she uses for that book. There's like two different ones, and they're both very cringe. But the actual book itself is really entertaining to read and I feel like it's well written so I do like it. Obviously I haven't finished it yet so I can't like rate it but next after that one I picked up Love Another Words by Christina Lauren. I got that at Target like a couple months ago and I wanted to finish the other one first. So once that one's done I'm gonna pick up that book but that's what's like on my reading list right now I guess. Moving on to blush. I have a couple different ones for every day. You guys know when I'm more like dressing up I pretty much always reach for the rare beauty one because it lasts so well and I have a really good shade in that one that goes with everything but for my more every day I often grab my merit blushes. Both of these are really good. I have the shades terracotta and beverly hills. Then my most recent is the elf putty blush and this one is in the shade bora bora. It's a very bright bright pink color and it looks a little crazy but on the cheeks once it's blended out i feel like it's so pretty and i've only worn it a couple of times but it is one of the ones i've been reaching for lately since i got it because i think it is really pretty even though i also really love those other ones and i've had them longer we'll grab for the newer one today so i feel like it looks really pretty once all the makeup is done and it just livens up the face and adds a little bit of extra color oh i just made my eye this happens to me all the time I have this spot right here. I don't know if you guys can see it on my cheek where the makeup is like not sitting on top of. I'm using like products I've used before and it was doing that already with the bronzer, which is super weird. It just like won't set there and I don't know if I have a dry patch there. That's very rare for me. Hopefully it's not noticeable. But I mentioned books. As far as like TV shows and stuff, I have not been watching as many of those either, to be honest. I feel like I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately, which I've really been enjoying just having YouTube videos playing a lot of the time like in the background and stuff it just I don't know it has a nostalgic feeling to it for me and I just love watching like my favorite youtubers I've really been in a youtube phase right now but um actually first let me show you guys the highlight that I use literally all the time whether I'm wearing a more glam look or I'm doing my everyday makeup I've been obsessed with this merit highlighting balm in the shade kava I talked about it in my get ready with me video I just can't stop wearing it it looks so dewy and natural on the skin but as I was saying, I'm almost finished with FUBAR on Netflix. It's definitely an entertaining show. Not my typical type of thing that I watch, but it's entertaining. And I think I have one episode left of that. And then I really, really want to rewatch the Bridgerton series, but I saw that I don't think they're coming out with the third season now until December. So I don't think they've officially announced that yet, but it got leaked or something. Usually that type of 
information is pretty accurate. So if they're not bringing out the third season until December, I don't really want to watch it now if I'm gonna like not have it fresh in my mind. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe that's weird. Let me know if you do that too with TV shows because I love to rewatch them before I w watch a new season if I really like the show or something. Also let me know in the comments if you did watch Bridgerton, do you prefer the first season or the second season more? Because I feel like there's conflicting opinions. Personally for me, I preferred the second season. I was obsessed with Anthony and Kate. Like I just loved their story, but let me know which one you preferred. I'm kind of wondering if season three is going to be my new favorite though because I'm extremely excited to see what happens and everything. Let me know if you're a Bridgerton watcher in the comments. Um, My lips are so dry, so I'm going to reapply my chapstick. I feel like I have been slathering chapstick on lately, like an abnormal amount. I don't know what's up with that. My body is just like dehydrating itself. I just have these little EOS ones all over my house everywhere okay for eyes honestly these days i rarely do hardly anything with my eye makeup most of the time i put a little bit of bronzer on my lid and blend it out but sometimes i will grab uh, a neutral shade and put it in my crease and then take a little angled liner type brush like this and put a darker brown on my lash line up top and i really like that look it's definitely one of my go-to's it's what i do most of the time if i wear eyeshadow so my favorite eyeshadow palette is the Kathleen Lights and Il Maquillage one. I don't think you can get this anymore, but I love it so much. And I'll just grab one of the neutral shades in here. So I think I'm going to take this one right here. This is the one I usually go for. It's called uh, Baby Cool. Take my little blending brush and put that in my crease. And then the darker brown shade that I'm going to use is You're So Vain this one right here apply it to my lash line I've been doing this type of thing for years and I feel like I've shown it in a lot of videos so maybe it's repetitive but this is just like what I do I'm showing you guys a little bit more of like the elevated version of my everyday makeup because sometimes it's like three products and I just slap it on this is like what I do when I have a little bit more time okay and then for brows I'm just gonna use my elf wow brow and this is honestly nine times out of ten what I do for my everyday. I don't usually go in with a pencil. That's more if I'm like, I have an event or something. These do not last very long. I will say I go through these little elf things very quickly, which is the only downside. But they are so cheap that I just keep buying them because I love them so much. This one is in the shade Neutral Brown. It is the perfect shade that matches my hair. We are getting there. So just a couple more things. I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. I'll be honest with you, sometimes, guys, I kind of like to rock the no mascara look. It's, like, really nice not having to take mascara off at the end of the night. And I actually kind of like the way it looks sometimes to just curl my lashes and leave them bare. But I still, especially when I do more makeup like this, will wear mascara. That's more if I'm, like, doing, like I said, the three-product routine. <laughs> Again, Lancome Monster Big. I'm just going through this tube right now. And I've loved this one forever, but I do want to try the Tower 28 one soon because I've just heard such incredible things of that about that one. So the next time I splurge on a mascara, it might be that one. Although I will be honest, I truly love the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. Like I think it is so good. That tubing formula, something about it makes your lashes look insane, even if they're not. Oh my gosh, I stepped outside of the room for a second. Joe has ribs on the grill and they smell amazing. Okay, um, lips. So I keep it very simple for my lips. Usually I'm using like the NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner, but I will be honest, that one is in my purse right now and I don't have the energy to get up again and go get it because I didn't think of it when I was out there. Another favorite is the NYX Nude Truffle. And this is just a little bit of a deeper brownie nude, which is still absolutely beautiful. So I will use this one today. Hopefully I'm not going out of frame at any point. I still suck at filming makeup videos because I can't like focus on the viewfinder and what I'm doing at the same time. Another thing that switches up pretty regularly is my lip product. On the day-to-day, -day, I generally just reach for a very sheer product or like a clear gloss or lip oil or something. A go-to that I really, really love and reach for probably more than my others is the Fawn Beauty Recovery and Glow Lip Oil. I'm literally like halfway through this product. I don't know if you can see how much I've used, but 
it is getting down there. So I really love this. It just feels very nourishing on the lips and it kind of has a milky look to it. So it's like clear, but with a little bit of a milky kind of sheen to it almost. So it kind of leaves a little bit of like a nude look on the lips. And something about that actually, especially with this darker lip liner, it looks so good to me. Look how glossy. I could just like keep putting on more and more. Maybe that's why I'm running low. So that is pretty much my finished everyday makeup look. I will put on a little bit of setting spray a lot of the time. So I'm gonna use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I love this one. It's just really nice and lightweight and kind of melts all your makeup together without making it look greasy, but it still gives like a really nice light kind of glow to your skin. So I really love this one. And the mister is really nice on this too. But yeah, there we have it. Anyways, I wanna move on to the giveaway portion now, which is really fun. Um, let me scooch back a little bit and zoom you guys out so I can get more of me in frame. Basically just have a box of like random makeup and beauty products here. And I'll quickly go through them and show you guys what it is. And then you can enter the giveaway down in the comments. Basically just make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment down below with your Instagram handle so that I can DM you if you win. If you do not have Instagram, leave an email address for me so I have some way to get a hold of you. This giveaway will be US only. So it's pretty small. I don't feel like it's enough stuff to make it worth it to like ship it to another country if someone outside of the US would win. So we're gonna keep this to US only. It's just a small box of goodies. I wanna do more of these. I just thought it would be fun. Most of this is just like random PR that I didn't open because I didn't think I'd use it or just things that I found on sales and wanted to add to the box, things that I love. So it's just a random assortment of things. But first of all, this little bread oil duo. If you guys know bread is a hair care brand. This bigger bottle with the frosted glass is their macadamia oil. So I believe you can use this on your hair or on your body. And the bread hair oil is a really good hair oil that is pretty lightweight. So I feel like it would work for all hair types, to be honest. I have some Pacifica skincare in here that they sent me in PR because I do get PR from Pacifica, but sometimes it's just a lot and I don't need to keep everything. So we have this little vegan collagen line, Pacifica Vegan Collagen Overnight Recovery Cream. And we have the Vegan Collagen Recovery Eye Cream and the Vegan Collagen Complex Serum. Um, I have a little Thrive Cosmetics makeup bag full of perfume samples because I get a lot of perfume samples with like purchases and things that I don't end up using. And I feel like I just have so many and I already have a lot of large perfumes, so I don't need them. So I just put a whole bunch of samples in here and I thought it'd be fun for someone to try a bunch of perfumes. So we have that. I have a little Pacifica makeup bag as well that I got in PR. I thought that was cute. And then these um, Good Chemistry travel sprays. I have three here. I'm actually a Good Chemistry brand ambassador. I love their perfumes, but I have a lot and I have these in full sizes as well. So we have Coffee Cloud, Tiger Lily, and then Magnolia, whoops, Magnolia Violet. So Wait, no, this is Magnolia Violet. Anyways, these are all really good scents actually. So I have just random little like lights, lacquer, nail art stickers, some milk makeup products, the Kush Clear Brow Gel and the Kush Mascara. Then I have some more Pacifica, this reusable brow mask, which is very interesting. It says it has a vacuum seal and lifting effect to use it with your favorite serum. So I assume you just put your favorite serum on and then put this mask over it. Kind of use it on maybe as like a firming effect on your forehead, I don't know. Same thing here with these reusable under eye masks. Uh, I guess you just use it with your favorite serum or cream and then put these on and it like locks it in for you, that's kind of cool. Some Lawless Beauty products. So most recently they sent me a PR package with their new tinted lip balms. This is from like their plumping line. I kept one of the shades and it's very light. I talked about it in my last get ready with me video. It has a very light, slight, like a minty feeling, but it's not like a strong tingle or anything overpowering. These are really lovely. Three of these Lawless lip products. And then we also have some other Lawless PR. Two of their brow pencils in different shades. 
I'm not sure what these look like. Coco or Cacao and Teddy Bear. And then we have a Lawless Creamy Brow Wax, which I really like this stuff. I kept one of these for myself that was in my brow color. And then the Lawless One and Done Mascara. Also have a lip product from Typology. So they sent me a PR package with these lip oils and they had multiple shades and I felt like I would never really use this coral orange one. So I put it in here in case anyone likes that type of shade, but I like this lip oil formula and their packaging is really cute. So then we have some Merit products. I love Merit, you guys, I've talked with them a lot. They have this new compact mirror, which is super luxe and beautiful and like gold and heavy duty. So I thought that would be a, a lovely travel item. And then we have two lip products, the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in Cara Cara and the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick in Cabo. So both of these are a little bit more of a bright reddish, kind of orangey, burnt type of shade. They're absolutely beautiful. And I love both of these formulas so, so much, but these just aren't shades that I would reach for a ton. So that's why I put them in here. Also have this... First Aid Beauty Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask. So another skincare product there. A couple of hair products. These Meow products from their Rosemary Mint line. So we have the Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask and the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I've heard incredible things about these. And this Rosemary Oil is supposed to be really great for hair growth. You guys have heard me talk about the Innate Life one and I love that one. But this one is more affordable. So if you want like a rosemary oil for your hair, you might wanna check out something a little bit more affordable like this, but that's pretty much it. I also have this Innate Life Scalp Brush. I already have a scalp brush that I use and love, but I love just the whole look of this one. It looks very like natural and I love the nude color. So definitely always recommend a scalp brush. One of the best things you can do for your hair, honestly, no matter what your hair type is. Lastly, another like little perfume product. So Good Chemistry, their experimentation set. It's like a set of samples of a lot of their scents. Queen Bee, Pink Palm, Magnolia Violet, which is also in the travel here. Coco Blush, Tiger Lily, another one of the ones that is in the travel, and Sugar Berry, and Cheerful Charmer. There's another way for you to try out some more perfume samples. I didn't realize how many perfume products were in here, but I guess that's it, but just a little random box of things. And like I said, comment down below to enter. Leave me your Instagram handle, and I will try to pick a winner in the next couple weeks might be after July 4th because I'm kind of busy the next week or two. I will definitely organize this better and package it carefully when I actually ship it out. That made this video quite a bit longer, so apologies for the length of the video, but I really hope that you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that and hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.